In this Farmly review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Farmly. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them below and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can get your money's worth for Farmly. Farmly is a software for humanizing farms and surveys. You can create farms for people to fill out. This is the home page. This is what you should see once you have logged in or once you've signed up to the software. Now overall it looks pretty good, up here in the top left you've got the logo where you'd click to go back to the home page. In this area right here you've got your folders which you'd create. In this main section you've got the place where you create your forms and edit them. And then in the top right you've got your account or you can upgrade to a different version. Now right here to the left you've got this button right here, if you hover over it it should turn green. And what this does is adds a folder as you can see right there. So if we go ahead and click that it should add a folder and then within this folder you can create as many forms as you want by clicking clicking this button up here. Moving over to the right of that button, you've got this button right here. It's the edit folder button. This is where you can edit the name of the folders. There you go, as you can see, we've edited the name right there. And then to the right of that button, there is the delete folder button. So if you want to go onto this one that you've just created and you don't want it anymore, you can just click on that folder that you want to delete and then go over here and click on the delete folder button. And it should come up with this message right here. Are you sure you want to delete this folder? And you do click okay. And there you go, that's pretty much the simplistic homepage, just where you can add and delete folders and edit folders. So now let's go on the folder that we've actually created and let's actually go ahead and try and create a form. So you just want to go over here to this button, create a new form and click it. Once you've clicked it, it should come up with this right here where you can create your form name. We're just going to go ahead and call it form one and then you should click enter. And there you go, right here you can see it creates form one. Now we actually want to go ahead and edit that form, make it look however we want it to. So you would just want to go down here and it should highlight yellow and then click on that form to then edit it. Once you've clicked on it, it should open up this page right here. And this is where all of the features on Formly really come into play. You've got all of these choices right here to add to your form. And then up here you can create, connect, share or show results from that form. Up in the top right, once you've finished it, you can actually publish it. To the right of that, you've got a preview button. And to the right of that, you can either move copy or delete questions. So let's go ahead and just click this multiple choice question just to see the features of Formly so far. Once you've clicked on it, a box like this should appear and this is where you'd edit all of your choices. So you can go ahead and click on this part right here and it should make you able to edit the text box. So I went ahead and typed in what is your favorite food? Just an absolutely random question off the top of my head. Now we want to be able to change these options to some sort of types of food for anyone who's filling in the form to actually be able to click one. So all the way to the right hand section here, you've got your component name, which is where you name your question. And then right below it, you've got your option labels. This is where you can change the options that people can click. So there you go, I just changed the first option right there. You can see I changed it to pizza. And over here, back to the left, it does change the option to pizza. So we're gonna go ahead and do that for option two and three as well. There you go, I've made three options of food now that actually correlates with our question in the beginning. And as you can see here, you can also add a short description text if you want to by just clicking that and then you can add it there. Back to the right hand side, if you go below the option label section, you can actually see you can either randomize your options, you can change the alignment of it if you want them in a row or beneath each other, or you can even add a multiple selection, which we're not gonna do. Right here you've got the media section if you want to add any images or video files to your form. And then right here you've got the advanced section. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next few features and cover a few of these features on Formly. Beneath the multiple choice section right here on the left hand side, you can actually add an image choice if we go ahead and click that. You can actually add images right here where people can click them if you want them to decide between certain images. For this form, we're actually not going to go with that though, so I'm actually going to show you how you can actually delete choices. So again, if you have to go up to the top right hand side here, you can click this button where you can delete questions. Once you've clicked it, it should bring this up where it minimizes the choices and over here you can click delete and click OK. Once you've done that, to get back to the editing form section, you can just go back to where you click delete and click stop. And there you go, you're back to the beginning. Right below it, we're gonna add the two choices questions. This is what that one looks like. Again, you can change the question here and then change the choices of the question. So I just went ahead and typed in, do you like pizza? We're gonna go ahead to the right hand side here and then again, change 
the features of that question. You can click here and change the icons for the question to either a happy or sad, which changes it over here, a like or dislike, which changes that again, or a male or female if you're doing a male or female question. We're just going to go ahead with like or dislike and there you go that's pretty much what the two question feature has on formly next one we have a drop down and i'm just going to again quickly speed through this you can type your question here and then back on the right hand side just like the first question you can change the options right here to whatever options you want there you go once we've typed in the option labels and our question right here how many times do you eat pizza you can click on this and you can see that our options have shown moving on to the next one you can have a text entry question this is where you'd write a question and you'd actually want people who are reviewing your forms to write an answer back there you go, I quickly wrote in the question, what is your favorite topping? And right here, anyone who is answering the form can quickly write back what their favorite topping is. It's better to use this one since there are so many toppings on pizza, or if you're having a question where there are so many answers and you cannot write them all in an option question, you can have people write back their own answers. So now going through these more, you can actually have date and times, you can have sliders, opinion scales, ratings, signatures, if you want people to sign their signature, file uploads themselves, input table, information, or you can actually have a payment. We're not going to be adding every single option to our form because these are just the simple ones, the basics, just so we can run through every feature that a formly really has. So as a final one, I've just went here and added the signature one just to finish off our form so anyone who's answering it we can actually know their signature and confirm they have finished the form now once you have finished your formly form you can actually go up here to the top right hand side and we're just going to go ahead and preview the form before we actually publish it make sure everything works everything is right so once you click on the preview form it should take you to this page where you can really see how your form has came together overall it actually looks really good again we just quickly skim through this and to be honest it does look like a professional farm so we're going to quickly skim through these questions what is your favorite food let's say we click pizza do you like pizza you click like as you can see these are highlighting themselves which is again another cool feature of farmly how many times do you eat pizza let's just say once or twice and what is your favorite topping we're just going to put cheese because that's what's normally on a pizza anyway and then right here is where you'd sign your signature whatever sign your name and then if we were not previewing the form you'd be able to submit it and that would be it. You'd get your results for your form. Back on the very, very left hand side of this page, you can actually also change the color scheme right here if you click on that. Right below that, you can set up notifications and then right below that, you can actually edit the form settings if you want. So right here, I actually just quickly published the form and I filled that out again with the same answers. So we can actually quickly go over here to the results section right here. And there you go, my form submission is right here and there you go that's all formly has to offer with its basic features and all the really good features that it has within its software again you can also add payments and add tables and stuff to your forms these are just the basics that i covered and again showing all the main features on the software that you can use showing you around the software showing you what things can do and eventually showing you that you can actually fill out your form publicly Overall, a few features that I liked about Farmly was actually the little animations and automatic fill-ins that it did when you clicked the answers to questions. It makes it look more professional and more thought out than most other farm softwares. I also liked how there is loads and loads of choice questions, and I also liked how easy it is to navigate the software. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.